Hi there. A new restaurant on Capitol Hill in Seattle is offering late night Middle Eastern cuisine, and it seems its customers are thrilled. Yala, which means let's go in Arabic, makes delicious wraps that hungry fans are grabbing and going. Chef and owner Taylor Cheney is here to show us how they are made. Welcome. Thank you. So you're paying homage to Middle Eastern yes. food, correct? Yes, definitely. And definitely. so how did you kind of decide what you wanted to do in this restaurant? You know, um, I've been doing, I've been a chef like all my life, and then I started doing pop-ups. Uh, I did them for many years. I moved to the Middle East, and I've just dreamed of opening like a little small place like this. So. And you are yeah. known especially for your bread and your wraps. Yes. People love that. And yeah. you have somebody special who helps you with that. Yes. Um, she's a woman that I met years ago, like five years ago. Um, she's from Gaza, and she actually... Um, she had come here and then she had to go back. There she is. Yeah, there she is. So cute. <laughs> <laughs> she had to, and then she came back um, without her daughter. That's her daughter in that picture. Um, and she moved here and then she got um, basically this opportunity to get a job. And she's like, Do you know anyone hiring? And I couldn't believe it because I hadn't even announced I was opening yet. I was like, you. <laughs> you. You are uh -huh. coming to work here. <laughs> and she makes the bread. Her yes. daughter is here now. Her daughter just got here a few weeks ago. That mm -hmm. is amazing. Isn't that awesome? Well, let's start making what right. we're making. What are let's we doing do today? So this is uh, basically mimicking. Asajj is usually like a dome shape, mm -hmm. but it's really hard to find here with the kind of electrical systems that we have here. So what me and my um, Palestinian friend Nadia came up with was a crate machine because it mimics that. So what we'll do, I have the dough over here. That's in beautiful little dome grab a little shapes. flower. Sure. We've got everything here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So you right. pat that baby in place. Right. And then this is sort of the, the mystery of what happens next is really yeah. interesting. So usually we pat it down a little bit. All right. Okay. Look how stretchy it is. So yeah. is it super soft? Um, yeah, it's really soft. And you know what's funny? It has no yeast in it. Look at People this. think it has yeast. It doesn't actually. All right. So, so we give it a little that out roll. Big disc. And then usually it's kind of just. It's kind of like stretched a little bit. I brought two pillows with me. This one is actually from Jordan, from my friend uh, Nadia. This one is from Hebron, Palestine, and uh, that's from my friend Ali. So nice, he brought it back and actually like a month ago. Shape. Yeah, so we stretch it like this. I'm making you do the next one, you know. Okay, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'll do my best. So usually I go like this. Now, what does the pillow do? Does it just make the edges perfect? Yeah, it helps kind of like stretch the dough out a little bit. Got it. So it's a little bit um, yeah. thinner in the middle. Exactly. Oh, those bubbles look good. Those are going to be nice and crispy and yeah. air filled. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. And that's all it is. Yeah. There's that's another amazing. word for this bread, too, called, uh, there's many words for it, but saj is the most common. But mm -hmm. uh, markuk, markuk bread is like another thing they say. So when we come so in and we see it, what's see? on the menu, it's okay to ask a lot of questions and try I love some when people things. ask questions. Yeah, no, I love it because this isn't like, this isn't your typical food. It's not, um, it's not as widely known as like, let's say like Mexican food or Indian food or right. something like that. And, and it's so, so good and it's a really healthful way to eat. So do you yeah. make wraps with these? So that's what the bread Look looks at like. That. It's beautiful. Yeah, and then I'm going to grab one for you. Okay. Oh boy. You can do this. <laughs> I believe in you. Do you want to fill one while I'm doing this? Yeah, so. And we can see how it works. I see the olives over there. It looks like you've got some pickled items. Yes, so we have these are pickled turnips called, they call like lifet. Mm -hmm. um, and they're turnips that are. I got it, I can do you, it. You want to do yeah, it? Awesome. Come on. So these are um, pickled turnips that they ferment with beet juice that are really popular. Um, these are olives. This is lebna, which is like a strained yogurt. That I've heard of and I know I really like. Let me get this one out of the So if you were, can I have the little pillow back? Yeah, I totally. Don't think I can make this work on the on the big pillow, but we'll we'll try. It we on don't the even pillow. have a sage like really big enough because <laughs> the ones that they make on that that big pillow are like a huge sage. So that's kind of meant for more for that. So I'm not as fast at this part, but I'll stretch a little. Oh yeah, bit. no, Let's that's see okay. This will work. Don't even worry. It's I'm, so I'm trying for a job because this is like <laughs> you're food hired. I really like. You're hired. <laughs> okay, so why don't you fill one for us and show us All what right. kinds of things would go inside? Okay, sure. So I'm going to do the most classic. Yes. Um, one here. So we have some bread that we brought already made from this store. Mm -hmm. We have some really good za'atar. Za'atar. Tell, yeah, tell everybody about that. Yeah, so za'atar is kind of gaining popularity, but um, 
not everyone still knows what it is actually. So it's made with sesame seeds. I also brought sumac with me, which is like a dried kind of tart, I think almost like a berry. And if you haven't tried that, I'm an Iraqi co-worker of mine, oh, an Iraqi really? American co-worker of mine, uh, told me what that was. I'd eaten it and I didn't yeah. know. And he gave me a big sack of sumac that's so good on salads. I know why he did that because have you noticed that he probably like cooks for you a lot and like <laughs> gives you a lot of stuff? Arabs are like that. They'll like literally give you like the shirt off their back. <laughs> so we've got that on. Yeah. Um, so I like to put some like vegetables inside. You don't have to. That some people so like very classic, um, just kind of just satire. We have a lot of Middle Eastern customers who come in and they just mm -hmm. are like just satire. That's it. And tell me about the this stuff. Oh, that's kishik. Oh, look at me. I'm covered with flour. I like it. <laughs> it's okay. I'm, I'm always covered with flour. So I'm going to pull this off, actually. And I'm going to move that so over here. And I'm going to grab this guy. All right. So here's this. Did you want to try it? Um, no. We're, I'll try it during the commercial break. I just okay. want you to finish sure, up sure, there sure. so we know exactly so, what. I'm going to go around? Yeah. What it looks like. I'm going to steal an olive, too. Oh, that take looks them. So They're good. really good. So there's... I like to put lebne on this one. Dollop. That's actually, this is actually a commonly a kind of a breakfast food. Oh my gosh, I wish yeah. everybody could smell this. So this is where you need to go yeah. to Yala. Yeah. And <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs>